Good morning, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan SE. And this, like most of our vehicles, is a mobility wheelchair accessible van. I'll get right to the conversion. This is a rear entry, manual ramp and door. Very easy to operate, very low cost to maintain. It's got the manual trunk latch. I can operate this entire conversion using just two fingers. I pinch here to get these clamps up. There's one on each side. I really like this design. It keeps these ramps from rattling around in the back. If you've ever been in an older mobility van, you hear the ramps rattling all the time. It is super annoying. This actually prevents that. It has two handles on the driver's side and the passenger side. I'm going to use the one on the passenger side. Look here. I'm taking this to the ground using only my index finger. I tell our customers if you can lift a half a gallon of milk off the ground, you can operate these ramps with ease. Ease. The ramp is 34 inches wide. It does taper off here at the base where the ramp sits to 32 inches between those. It's got a 56 inches coming inside the van, 58 inches of headroom inside the van. It has eight different tie down points, two in the back, four in the middle. Two up front, so you can hold up to two chairs at a time in this van or a gurney or a stretcher. Headliner is excellent condition, has the rear air controls. As I move towards the front, very clean carpet. We've actually had this van in our inventory. This is the third time we've had it back. Had a couple customers buy it a couple times and used it for a couple years, didn't put many miles on it. So we have it back now. Steering wheel controls help you keep your eyes on the road or if it's an employee of yours or someone in your family. That's a great safety feature. Dual climate control. The driver can be one temperature. The passenger can be a second temperature. You can even have a third temperature in the rear. So you can have three, three climates in there. Cup holders. A couplers in the doors as well. <clears throat> Overall, very clean van. It's been great for all the customers we've we've sold it to. Sold it to. They've taken care of it. It's been garaged. Uh, when you got everybody secure, come back out. Look, one finger. That's all it takes. One finger. Reverse the process. Clamp everything back down. Shut the hood or shut the trunk. I'm sorry. And you are ready to roll. I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the van. It's got the tinted windows. Give you privacy year round in the back and keep you nice and cool during the summertime. These slick alloy wheels on here. Um, we put brand new tires on this to the last customer we sold it to. They had it a couple years. Um, it put about two or three thousand miles on it. So these tires, if I recall correctly, they're they're very good condition. As you can see, no major dents or scratches in this van. I could hardly find a door ding on it. All BF Goodrich tires. The front, I'm going to guess, are about 5 to 6, 30 seconds. The back are darn near. Got to be close to close to full tread on those. So, Very clean van, very nice van. It's starting to snow out here pretty hard. Yay. <laughs> it's got the two keys, keyless entry. When I go to start the van up, it starts up first time every time. You can see the check engine light, ABS light, check uh, airbag, they all work. There's no check engine lights, no dummy lights, nothing like that. Uh, we've also got the user's guide that comes with it as well. And you can see the current miles on it are 119,900 on the dot. Let's pop the hood so you can listen to it run. Underneath the hood has a 3.6 V6 engine. It idles smoothly. I have three mechanics. We have lift, two lifts at the shop. Uh, we check these, inspect all the vehicles when we get them back in. We've inspected this, inspected this, no signs of any damage, no signs of any oil leaks. Um, to take it out on a test drive, which I'm also fixing to do. You see it's very clean underneath, no signs of any leaks. You know, a little bit of surface rust underneath, that's to be expected on a vehicle that's seven years old, but overall very clean. Very nice van. You know, no matter who you buy from, make sure they're out doing a video for you. Sorry, I hopped back in the van to finish up this video. It's about 20 degrees out, snowing. So, uh, no matter who you uh, go through, no matter who you buy from, make sure they get out and make a video for you. It's very easy to make it, uh, something look good in pictures. Have them crawl underneath it. The uh, frame underneath is just as important as the engine and transmission. If it's one of those vans that come from New York, New Jersey, up north, it's all rusted out, it won't pass inspection in your state. If it won't pass inspection, you can't drive it. Don't get suckered. You hear about it all the time on the internet. You can make anything look pretty in pictures. That's why, that's why I'm crawling around when it's 20 degrees out on the ground, crawling underneath the van, so you can see exactly what you're getting. One thing I did want to mention on this seat back here, you can see it's missing that armrest. 
we can get one of those at your cost if you'd like us to and add it to the van uh, we have to buy it from the dealer that they're pretty hard to find we tried to get one last time so just let you know again I want to be honest as we possibly can about our vehicles we've tested the heat the air power windows power locks crews radio and I'm showing you this is not some van that you buy and you come out and look at or we ship it out to you and it's got a bunch of issues we didn't tell you about we're very thorough in our inspections we're very thorough in our pictures and we're very thorough in our videos I'm the owner this is how I am I'm just very I'm a car guy hope you can tell by our videos we're trying to be honest as we can so let me get out on the highway I want you to hear it, hear it run okay last portion of the video I always like to get the vans on the highway I'm gonna give it some gas so you can hear it engine run feel the transmission shift and that you know whether we ship this vehicle out to you and you can take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or you come in and drive it home that this vehicle is road worthy so I'll see if I can get up to about 70 miles an hour and I got up to about 68 there I'm gonna back it down to about 60 set the cruise cruise control works just fine you can see that steering wheel is nice and centered there. That's exactly what we want. It's not off to the side. It's aligned properly. It drives nice and straight down the road. Front end's tight. It's not making any vibration as I drive. And folks, I know there's a lot of companies out there selling mobility vans. You need to ask yourself, do they have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau? If you're looking at another dealership, be sure to check that out. And if they don't have an A-plus rating, you need to ask yourself, why are you doing business with them? Check people's reputation. If you're buying from a, an individual, it's a very risky proposition. If they don't get you a title, if they don't get it proper to you, you're, it's going to be hard to get one. As a dealer, we are reprimanded. We are governed by the state. Uh, they keep track of us. They make sure we're doing everything on the up and up. So that's the advantage of buying from a dealership. Also ask yourself, do they have any hidden administrative fees, document fees, tag fees? If you're talking to another dealer, ask them about these hidden fees. That is not how I do business. I don't tell you one price and then start talk, tacking a bunch of fees on the end. So another thing that we do is the videos as you can see you're obviously watching it be sure you get a good detailed video of a van if someone won't take a 30 minutes to an hour of their time to make a video when you're gonna spend thousands of dollars what are they selling you and who are you buying from brakes nicely no grinding no squeaking no unusual vibration so a very nice van it's been well taken care of I know it's got a few miles and a few years on it but I feel this van is, is taken care of. It has a long life ahead of it. Whether it's your family or your business, this van has a long life left in front of it as long as it's taken care of. So as I go back to, uh, you know, what company, comparing us to other companies, do they offer free shipping? We offer free shipping in the lower 48 states. I own a shipping brokerage. We pay the average shipping rate from our zip code to yours. So you don't have to pay any shipping. You don't have to mess with all that. Let us handle it. Let us take care of it. So as I finish up the video here, if you ever want to come see one of our vans, please always give us a, a, make an appointment with us. Give us a call. Give me a call. 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. I'm not some salesman that has a quota to meet. I'm going to tell you what you want to hear to try and sell you a van, and I'll probably be working somewhere else six months from now. I'm the owner. As long as this company is in business, I will be here. I have a reputation to maintain, so... Feel confident that you're dealing with the owner, not a salesman. Also, check us out 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call me today.